हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू अवर फोर्थ सेशन एंड द सेशन इज अबाउट डिमांड फोरकास्टिंग बिफोर वी डिस्कस अबाउट डिमांड फोरकास्टिंग लेट मी टेल यू वन एग्जाम्पल वी ऑल नो दैट इन एनी काइंड ऑफ इकोनॉमी और इफ यू टेक एग्जाम्पल ऑफ वर्ल्ड इकोनॉमी वी आर फेसिंग प्रॉब्लम ऑफ लिमिटेड रिसोर्सेस so when we are using this resources we need to be very much careful we are using this resources in manufacturing process we are using this resources to produce something so that we can satisfy needs and wants of or we can say demand of market for example uh, if we have decided to produce certain product now once we have decided that we are going to produce this product we have decided about our production process but we need to think that how much quantity we are able to sell right in near future because on basis of our expectation to sell we can plan for our production and other finance related activities so demand forecasting the role of demand forecasting is here because without considering or without estimating market demand if we have produce something then it may be problem because if we produce in a larger quantity than market demand then we'll have to suffer if we have produce less than market demand then also there will be a shortage of product and it may be possible that our competitor will take advantage of this situation so it is very important for us to estimate future market demand and on basis of that we can plan our production and marketing or we can say other related activities so let discuss what is demand forecasting so in this session we are going to discuss meaning and importance of demand forecasting but before we discuss about demand forecasting we should know about what is demand and what is forecasting demand we know if we talk about demand so demand is desire to purchase with purchasing power means producer should not consider only needs and wants of market but purchasing power the role of purchasing power is very important in market so when people are demanding or when people are having desire to purchase something along with the desire they must have purchasing power also because their purchasing power is considered as our revenue so first of all we should be clear about the word demand then forecasting forecasting is a prediction prediction about future now if we talk about demand forecasting it is prediction right about demand in future now let's discuss some definitions and some concept related to demand forecasting demand forecasting meaning it refers to the process of predicting the future demand for the firm's product it is process process of what it is process of predicting the future demand for the firm in our example we have discussed that once we have decided that we are going to produce product x but how much quantity we should produce so that we can able to satisfy market demand so we need to understand we need to estimate first right and it is known as demand forecasting one more definition is given here that demand forecasting is comprised of a series of steps that involves the anticipation of demand for a product in future under both controllable and non controllable factors 
controllable and non controllable factors controllable normally we are considering it as internal factors and non controllable means external factors so when we are estimating market demand one more thing here is mentioned it's a series of step it is process it is not only process but it is systematic process that involves anticipation of demand for product we are estimating demand for product in future but we need to consider both internal means controllable and non controllable factors right okay now i hope that it is clear what the demand forecasting mean predicting the future demand for a product that is demand forecasting help the organization in making in one of the following areas these are some of the points mentioned here that why demand forecasting or we can say how demand forecasting helps organization in making decision related to number 1 planning and scheduling the production and acquiring the inputs accordingly on basis of demand forecasting organization can plan for the production that how much quantity of raw material will be required by a particular unit scheduling that by how much quantity we have to produce to satisfy needs and wants and to achieve our decided targets the second thing is making the provision for finance we know that resources are very less there is scarcity of resources and resources are having their own cost so as and when you are deciding any kind of production or business related activity you need to arrange finance first so on basis of market demand on basis of demand forecasting organization can make provision for finance once they are expecting demand for a particular product in market once they are expecting huge market demand for a particular products so they will have to arrange more finance so that each and every activity related to production and other business related activities we can say that can be carried out easily next one is formulating a pricing strategy now how demand forecasting is related to pricing strategy see once you are able to understand that this particular product is demanded by the market means for example there is huge demand of a particular product so this huge demand is considered as opportunity for the organization to secure maximum profit by charging higher price once you are aware on basis of your demand forecasting that demand for a particular product will be less in future or in near future that accordingly you can modify your pricing strategy and one more thing is it helps in planning advertisement and implementing it the same example we can take here once you are expecting that demand for a particular product will be less in near future then organization can plan for other marketing related activities to create or to generate awareness in minds of consumer once organization is expecting to sell a particular product right in near future then they can make their advertisement planning on basis of this market expectation right so now meaning of demand forecasting is clear now moving further we are going to discuss some of the important point of demand forecasting number 1 fulfilling objectives demand forecasting helps in fulfilling objectives we all know that organization is working towards achievement of any kind of objective it may be profitability it may be related to market share it may be related to competition it may be related to growth and development of organization so demand forecasting once you know once you are aware on basis of demand forecasting that this particular product will be demanded in near future so on basis of your 
business activities on basis of your business strategy on basis of executing various activities organization can achieve objectives the next important is preparing the budget demand forecasting helps organization in preparing the budget now budget of what in a budget what we have to prepare see on basis of demand forecasting once organization is estimate about future demand so organization can prepare budget about various resources or we can say budget right it may be related to cost or expected revenues for example an organization is forecasted the demand for a particular product which is priced at rupees 10 an organization is expecting to sell 1 lakh units in a specific time duration now it is clear that once organization achieve this objective of 1 lakh units to be sold then organization will generate at least 10 lakh rupees from the market right so it helps organization in preparing budget that how much investment should be required to execute any kind of business related activities the next point is stabilizing employment and production now we know that on basis of demand forecasting organization can plan for production activity that how much inventory we should maintain to cope up with market demand what would be the production process is there any requirement for another production plant in near future so organization can plan about production activity but how we can stabilize employment see on basis of market demand organization can plan about the recruitment activity producing according to forecasted demand of product helps to avoid wastage of resources now once organization is expecting on basis of market demand or we can say demand forecasting so organization can manage employees organization can manage human resource on basis of market demand so you can set more employees to your production plant to cope up with market demand one more thing is mentioned here is expanding organization now this is very important how demand forecasting helps organization for expansion see on basis of estimating market demand if organization realized that market demand is huge but our production capacity is comparatively less so within shorter or longer period of time organization can change the size of output or we can say the size of plant capacity so once you have enough time to cope up with market demand organization can expand further and finally once organization expand each and every resource related to organization will be get benefited now the next important point is taking management decision demand forecasting helps management to take decision as we know that management have to take various critical decisions because business environment is continuously changing and we know that in today's scenario each and every business has to operate in a risk and uncertainty kind of situation so on basis of demand forecasting organization can take critical decision related to investment related to capacity of plant or determining the requirement of raw material and ensuring the availability of labor and capital so it is very important for organization and specifically those organization which are involved in large scale production activity they must go for demand forecasting because on basis of market demand 
they are investing their resources in several ways so once you have generated information regarding market demand it will become more easy for that kind of organization to manage and to get advantage of uh, <coughs> diverting various resources in, in such a manner now the next thing that demand forecasting helps organization in evaluating performance this is very important to discuss this point let's take an example say for organization abc is not performing as per the expectation now once you ask your research team your employees they are saying that market is not favorable for us not only for us but the industry is performing less than expectation now on basis of demand forecasting once you know that market demand is huge now you will have to compare your performance with the performance of your competitor so once you know that the competitor is performing far better than you so on basis of market demand you can evaluate that market demand is there but your organization is not performing as per the expectation level and your competitor is performing far better than you so by having this information on basis of demand forecasting you can evaluate performance of each and every employee and specifically department also and on basis of that evaluation organization can take corrective action now the last but not least that it helps government now how demand forecasting help government see government is having their own target now for example target related to import and export now on basis of our data we can help government that this particular product is demanded by a market or by external market or we can say this product is highly demanded in international market so on basis of your demand forecasting data government can plan their import and export related activities so friends by having this discussion with you i hope it is now clear what is demand forecasting what is the role what is the place of demand forecasting in business organization and how demand forecasting help organization to take various decisions now if you have any kind of confusion again you can rewind the session and have clarity thank you very much